Rowdy Ronda Rousey is one of the most well-known fighters in the history of mixed martial arts. Along with that, many fight fans believe that she is the first ever UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. Which is true, but to add to that, she was also the last Strikeforce Women's Bantamweight Champion. The Strikeforce and UFC Women's Bantamweight Championships are linearly the same. Let's take a look back at the history of this specific title belt, which is currently held by Amanda the Lioness Nunes. Strikeforce held the inaugural women's bantamweight title fight on February 26, 2010. This was before Ronda Rousey had even made her amateur MMA debut. The fight took place between Sarah Kaufman and Takeo Hashi, which Kaufman won via unanimous decision. Kaufman went on to defend the belt one time when she defeated fan favorite and known cosplayer Roxanne the Happy Warrior Mataferi via highlight reel slam knockout. In Kaufman's second title defense, Marlos Kunin dropped a bantamweight from 145 pounds after losing to Cyborg to challenge Kaufman for this belt. Kunin defeated Kaufman via armbar in the third round to become the new champion. Kunin was supposed to have her first title defense against Misha Tate, but due to an injury to Tate, Liz Carmouche stepped in only to get submitted via triangle choke submission in the fourth round after battering Kunin with ground and pound for the large portion of the fight prior to the submission. When Tate finally fought Kunin, she took the belt via arm triangle choke in the fourth round. A couple of fun facts about that event or about that fight specifically, Misha Tate's nickname at the time was Takedown and not Cupcake and it was Kunin's first submission loss. Misha Tate was unable to successfully defend the belt. She was supposed to fight Sarah Kaufman in her first defense, but due to Ronda Rousey being vocal after an armbar submission victory over Julia Budd with a call out of Tate. Rowdy was awarded the title shot in just her fifth professional appearance and her first fight in the bantamweight division. Tate was able to last 4 minutes and 27 seconds with Rousey, which at the time was the longest fight of Rousey's career, before being submitted by the patented Rousey armbar. Rousey ultimately held the belt for 1,352 days and had a total of 7 defenses in that time, the first of which was in strike force over the former champion Sarah Kaufman via, of course, first round armbar. On December 6, 2012, this is a key, Ronda Rousey became the first UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion without a victory. It was as a result of Strikeforce being absorbed into the UFC and that belt just changed from the Strikeforce belt to the UFC belt. Rousey then successfully defended her UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship on six separate occasions. First via patented, of course, First round armbar submission against Liz Carmouche in a really fun fight that was the first ever women's contest to be held in the UFC. Second via third round armbar submission over Misha Tate at UFC 168 on December 28, 2013 in the longest fight of Ronda Rousey's career. Third via TKO knee to the body in just 1 minute and 6 seconds over Sarah McMahon. Fourth via knockout in just 16 seconds over Alexis Davis. Fifth via armbar in just 14 seconds over Kat Zingano at UFC 184. And finally via knockout in 34 seconds over the ultra vocal and well known dancer Betcha Kohea at UFC 190 on August 1st, 2015. In Rousey's seventh official UFC title defense attempt, but eighth overall consecutive strike force slash UFC women's title defense, she lost via second round head kick knockout to Holly the Preacher's Daughter home in one of the biggest upsets in UFC history. To this day, people are still a little bit shocked. Holm then lost via fifth round rear naked choke in her first attempted title defense against Misha Cupcake Tate, where a lot of people believed she should have just waited for the rematch with Rousey because that would have been a bigger payday, but she decided to fight Tate and it did not pay off for her. Misha Tate then, having held the lineal strike force slash UFC women's bantamweight title for the second time, was once again unable to defend the belt when she lost to Amanda Nunes via rear naked choke after being completely battered on the feet at UFC 200. Nunes then turned around and made her first title defense against Ronda Rousey, cashing in on that big payday and made it look 
easy when she put the current WWE superstar away via TKO in just 48 seconds. Nunes was then again successful with a title defense when she defeated Valentina Bullet Shevchenko via controversial split decision. As of fight week, May the 7th, 2018, Amanda Nunes has held the UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship for a total of 666 days. The number of the beast. But on Saturday, May 12th, Raquel Rocky Pennington looks to become the seventh person to achieve Strike Force slash UFC Women's Bantamweight Gold. And if successful, she'll become just the fifth UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion.